it's important to understand what data types are and why they matter. Essentially, data types are categories that describe the kind of data we are working with in our code. They help us understand what we can do with that data and how it should be processed. I will only show you the basic data types for now, and I'm not expecting you to magically remember all of these at once. It will take some coding experience to get used to all of them. Let's start with the data types of strings. Strings are basically text that is contained within quotation marks. We use strings for things like displaying words on the screen or storing text data. Let's create a variable using let and name it message, and let's assign a string to it which says hello world. If we console log message, it will display the text in our console. One thing to also note is that strings can be defined using both single quotes and double quotes. Next, we have numbers. Numbers can be either a whole number or a number with a decimal point. Numbers can be used for mathematical operations, which we'll look at later in this course. Let's try assigning a number value to a variable called subscribers. So let's say let subscribers, and I'm going to set it to 40. We can now console log this. And you'll notice a number is printed to the console and it has a different color compared to hello world. And that is because number is a different data type. We also have another data type called Boolean. This is a very simple data type because it is either a true or false value. We use Booleans for things like making decisions in our code or checking if something is true or false. So let's define a variable called has subscribed and let's set it to a Boolean of false. If we console log this, you'll notice our console is going to say false. And let's say you're subscribed, you can set this to true and your console will say true. Next, we have null. This data type represents an absence of value. We use null when we want to manually specify that something has no value. So let's create a variable called videos and let's set it to null. If we console log this, we'll see null in the console and you'll see it is grayed out and that is because it is not representing any sort of value. Finally, we have undefined. This is a data type that represents something that has not yet been given a value. Now you may think, doesn't that make null and undefined the same thing then? Well, they actually have some differences. Let's create a variable called age and let's just end the statement right there. Let's not give it any sort of value. Now let's try console logging this and see what we get. Well, we get undefined because what we've just done here is define a variable but not define its value. So what JavaScript does is automatically give it a value of undefined. However, one thing to note is you should never manually give a variable a value of undefined. This will work, but it's considered bad practice because JavaScript automatically does that for us. If you want to explicitly define something with no value, it's best to just use null. For now, these are all the data types that you need to know. There are other types of data like objects, functions, symbols, but they need a little more explanation, especially if you're a beginner. So I highly recommend you just ignore them for now and I'll explain those when we get to them later in the course.